code signal, arcade, array, maximal, adjacent difference. Hello everybody, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving array, maximal, adjacent difference. Let's get to it. Give an array of integers, find the maximal absolute difference between any two of its adjacent elements. This is so easy guys, dang it. And there's even bare D constraints of three and t up to three, 10 values. Okay, so here's what we will do. <clears throat> I don't think I'll write down the solution here. I think it's pretty straightforward. All I have to do is compare with the, each of these integers to see if there's a maximum difference um, when you iterate through all of them. So first you just iterate through all of them and see if there's a maximal difference you can gather from it. Simple if and else condition. If not, don't get that value. If yes, then definitely save it as a maximum value. So let's just get to it. Which is start with the min value. Is something to go off with and um, we start from the beginning but we stop right near the end minus two because we need we're gonna go um when we compare with the next value there's no other next value after the last value all right and we want to return the max value and simply we just do max equals integer dot max of input array end and input array end plus one so we check the inverse values to see if there's any if we could get a bigger difference oh sorry do it like this um and also since uh we want to make sure we get the biggest difference and we don't know if it go one way or the other so we put math at max math at abs the absolute value so we could always get a positive value value guaranteed and now we try to so here's what we're doing we're getting the current max value comparing it with the difference of the next pair you're checking the difference for and whatever is bigger we keep that value and when you have that value you just simply return it okay let's run the test to see if this works oh there's something wrong here the biggest difference here was uh Oh, oh, because I did less than. I don't really need to do minus two. I could just do minus one. Sorry about that, guys. I got too cocky. See, again, I emphasize, go through your code before running with the run test problem. I mean, with the run test. Don't spam the run test problem button. Because um, interviewers, they want to <laughs> they want to see if you can do this. Um, you can check it um, just to run through your code. Um, so... Because you want to see how you think, and some of the things, some important tip is that when you want to show what you're thinking, you want to like, you know, check some edge cases right here. For example, like, I could give take an example. Um, sometimes they want to see you, you know, think of these examples yourselves, you know, and you could just say like, okay, um, we want to compare two and four together using this for loop, and you basically just you basically become the compiler. Don't let the compiler become you. Ask, screw it. Have fun in your interview. Look, guys. Cheers.